Well, it's official. I want to spend all this time to get in shape and my dumb ass decided. My first day of wrestling school is this Wednesday. Oh. What have I done? I'm... Gotta train. I'm gonna start training, you know? I'm pretty fucking scared, but excited. I'm gonna be sore as fuck Thursday. I know that for sure. Alright, well, tomorrow is the first day of wrestling school. It's been a week since we last weighed in. I'm kind of nervous. I can already assume how much I'll be weighing. 272. We gained two pounds. Well. We are at an impasse. <laughs> yeah, I like a six piece meal with a medium fry and a medium coke. What kind of sauce? No sauce. Actually, make that coke a Sprite. Sure. Anything else? Uh, no. Thank you. Let's have a Coke. Let's have a Sprite spare that a fucking Coke! And I'm as anxious as I am today. I'll admit. Here's the guys what have happened. I don't have the confidence I have today that uh, I did before. You know. Of course, me going to a McDonald's at 11 at night to stress eat didn't show <laughs> the most confidence. But believe it or not, that's an improvement compared to what I used to be. What I used to be was, no, I can't do it. I'm not going to do it. That one was just like a fucking, I have to have food um, to calm down, you know. And here's what's going to happen. I'm going to get there. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna take a few bumps or whatever the hell they're gonna have us do. I mean, the training session's probably not gonna be as long as I'm fucking imagining. Where I'm just like, oh, everything I'm stressing about is either not gonna be that bad, or it's gonna be tolerable, or it's just something I'm gonna get used to after a while. You know. At least I got boots. I wonder how many trainees there actually had boots. When they first started. I keep getting the ad on Facebook about their show. Might take my nephews there Saturday as fans. That show Braylon, my oldest nephew, and uh, I mean Zyron's smart enough to understand things now, so I even tell him this is my school. Get paid Friday, so shouldn't be a problem. <coughs> All right. Only, only real thing is now. My jock strap to get in the mail. <laughs> so all I got is this cup, and uh, I can already see this thing getting shook, uh, shook loose during training. So we are going to wait on that one. <laughs> What's up, Boo? <laughs> How well, this looks to be the place. Hopefully. About an hour early. Here at Woodstock in Kinder County. 
uh, I guess just way outside the door until somebody sees me or lets me in, hopefully. Fingers crossed. <laughs> That's either a beaver or a woodchuck. I ain't going anywhere near it. Those things are mean. I'm in the egg road. First day. First day of a uh, wrestling school out of the way. I hate in so much pain. <laughs> shoulder there's a guy in there um he's a little more he's a little on the stiffer side we locked up practice locking up kind of wanted to shoot in you know this whole part of my arm was like red and then like he would oh, oh, die i'm just like oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I'm taking it, I'm taking it, I'm taking it. I was like, no, you're good. Getting the adrenaline going. I gassed out a lot. I almost threw up. Uh, I had to run out. God passed me up a garbage can. I'm like, ah. Thankfully it didn't, but I was like, come back in. Yeah. The guy, um, my trainer, uh, Rockin' Randy, the head trainer of the school, he actually trained uh, Casey James. Who, Casey is uh, the, I want to say the only guy from Belvedere to compete in WWE so uh, I'd love to know love to find out where he's at these days I think he's like he lives in like Louisiana he's like a, I can't think of the word but anyway um he, he's he's something <laughs> um, my shoulders hurt my thighs hurt uh, I'm going back Tuesday so that's the deal I was sweating so hard, I was so hot, I was gassed, and I had, went to the bathroom, I was like, look, this is all gotta go, this is all gotta go, and you know it's serious when I'm like, this has gotta go, cause, I'm, it's my beard, you know, I'm super, super particular about my beard, come back out, just waiting on instruction, and Randy, in the back goes, you know, he kind of looks like a moon dog. And I heard that in my everything just, oh god. So, I don't know if I'm gonna have a moon dog gimmick if I make it or what, but I better keep this. All of this, just in case. This needs trim though, these sides are way too puffy. This, I don't know what I'm doing with. Might, might get it trimmed, I don't know. I, he said he looked like a moon dog. I'm like, no. Oh, no. Every, just all the notes, all the ideas I have I had for my first match and everything. I don't know. I should have, I shouldn't have jumped the gun there, but. What are you going to do? I'm dumb. I'm excited. And I'm in pain. My thighs hurt. No, Randy's a cool guy. Uh, I was worried about him being a dick, but no, he's the coolest teacher. Like, super cool, super, super, um, kind, like, um, not, not what's the word? He, uh, motivational, very motivational. He, he shouts from the back, oh, come on, man, you got it, you got it. Just take your time, take your time, you're going too fast. And I have that habit of just going into things too fast, um, just kind of rushing into it rather than, pacing so I'm literally forcing myself to pace which it feels like I am moving at slow motion which is killing me um that's that's the practice there is one move I think I'll practice on the trampoline the downside is I hate the trampoline because it's way too it's way too bouncy compared to a ring I wish I had like an old mattress or something to practice on but um I'm not practicing on my air mattress that's 40 bucks <laughs> so uh uh, I got that. Um, he, when I uh, said goodbye, he said, "Dude, you got you're you're pretty agile for a guy your size. Just cardio, just keep doing cardio. Don't overdo it. Just cardio though. Cardio the f he. I think he literally said cardio the fuck out of yourself. <laughs> the 
the, the word fuck was used was as a comma throughout that whole school, and I loved it. Um, everyone was cool. Everybody. I, <laughs> I was called Moondog, I was called Blondie, I was called Puke, because, of course, time out. I, do, I dove out of that ring, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna puke! Oh. <laughs> also, I had a container of water. That did not last. So I got to bring, he, they said lots of water, and I'm thinking, this is a lot of water. No, no, it wasn't. Uh, I kept going into the bathroom and taking the water out of the sink, and like, I didn't give a shit if it was tap, but that's, it was probably what well, was also making me sick, but I'm just like, water, I need to hydrate. I didn't give a shit if it was cold or not, I just need water, so. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, look forward to Tuesday. Uh, now that I know what it is, they're three-hour sessions. Uh, 7 to 10. I, I assume Saturday is a lot longer because, like, there's there's the little bit of training, then they're setting up for the show and such, and just doing whatever. Get the hell out of my way. <laughs> Fucking bug. So, that's pretty much the plan right now. Uh, not a heel. I'm going to be so sore in the morning. Like, terribly sore. I don't know about three times a week. I don't know. I don't want to do one once a week, though. I would like to do two at least. Just to show I'm dedicated. You know? That was something he also complimented me on, was uh, Randy said I have a good attitude, which... Thank God, because if, if he saw these vlogs in my fucking diary, he would be like, What the fuck? No, you can't. You shouldn't do this. You know? Maybe in the, anxiety, the ball of anxiety that I am. So, um, like I said, see how I feel in the morning, see how it goes Tuesday. Word of the wise, make sure your boots are tight as fuck and are like up to your ankles because that's rough. This one isn't as bad though. I think there's a little, yeah, there's a little mark right here. This leg got tore up. That was a very expensive mistake to make. <sighs> Boy. I feel like shit. <laughs> I, uh, I just got home from work where I was sore as fuck all day. I was just desperate to get out of there. I felt bad. I should have stayed. Um, I should have probably stayed there a little longer. Um, though I did stay till I was supposed to, so. <sighs> my thighs and my shoulders are like, oh. I think once it gets kind of later out, I might go do some of those drills they showed me yesterday out on the trampoline. Cause like I don't think I can run right now. I don't know. I don't know if I can run today. I might be good to go tomorrow. Cause like now that the day now that the day is progressing, I can feel my thighs getting better. <sighs> yeah. See, th that is actually <sighs> you know as bad as that looked. That's better from earlier. I'll tell you that right now. I got a haircut. I, uh. I got it, like, cleaned up. I was honestly. <laughs> had Randy not said. You look like a moon dog, I would have probably had this. Because if he's got this image. If he's getting an idea in his head, I don't want to fuck it up. I don't want to fuck with it. So I'm just gonna. Just get it trimmed up. I was hoping to get this trimmed up, but there, no one's doing beards right now. Um, at least in Illinois. Um, so I'm just gonna bear with it. Or, you know, do it myself. <laughs> because it's something I can do. I left my glasses at the fucking school, so... At least I'll guarantee I'll come back. I am taking my nephews to go to the Saturday show. Um, of course, after thinking, alright, well, all the, all the fireworks are cancelled, I'll take the kids to go see wrestling. My mom... My mom drops the bombshell on me saying, hey, there's fireworks, I want to take you guys. And it's like, 
After I just bought tickets. What the shit? No. Uh, our new boots. That hurt, but I needed them. We got paid today, which is weird because it's Thursday. We don't get. We usually don't get paid till tomorrow, but we got paid. Everybody got paid early, so I was like, "Fuck it, I'll order the boots then." Um, I'm gonna. I'm keeping my other boots just in case, because if these bit, if these boots are too tight and I can't even, I don't see why I couldn't get my foot in there, but just in case, you know, I'll definitely. Cause I I need that. Cause like Mikey Whipwreck actually tweeted me. And he said, those boots didn't really look tight. Definitely uh, tighten those shits. Something like that. Some of the effect of that. He goes, they, they didn't look so tight. But I appreciate Mikey actually um, checking up on the pro See if I tweeted anything. Because, like, what fucking wrestler does that? Holy shit. I followed a bunch of the guys at school and they haven't even followed me back. So, I mean, hell yeah. Mikey Whipwreck, hell yeah. Today's meal on the holy fuck you are not a healthy bitch. Chicken. Chicken breast, to be exact. Yes, hunty. Put a little cinnamon jack on them bitches. And they go me some tasty titties. to make excuses, but I don't know how a little trampoline does when it comes to mat stuff, but I think I just need more practice on uh, whatever the fuck I was doing. I uh, tried those drills like you saw in the last part. Uh, I switched to just jumping on the trampoline. Uh, just doing like about six minutes of jumping, a break in between the three, three minutes. I switched, I was going to jump while holding logs until I think I saw what I thought was a bed bug on, the, on one of the logs. So I just threw it back in the pile and said, no, uh, I'll, I'll do something else. So I jogged 10 laps around um, the stumps in my backyard which, it's not that, honestly, somebody who jogs all the time could probably just whip right through. Someone like me, though, it might be fine. Um, then right now I'm just doing a power walk, holding my speaker. The speaker weighs a good, like, a couple pounds. So, just walking with one hand, switch to the other feel like a fucking schlub for calling it a day, but damn it, I'm glad I made it this far. I'm here outside Planet Fitness. I'm going to, um, I got the extra pep in my step tonight, so I'm going to get a membership and really get some cardio in, uh, like treadmills and such, just to really 
shake things up, you know, and to get in gear almost, so. I did <sighs> with cooldown so 50 minutes plus 30 because I didn't realize it was on a 30 minute time limit so 30 minutes plus 50 6 7 8 so it's 80 minutes An hour and twenty. An hour and twenty on the treadmill. That was probably not a smart move with how sore my thighs are. And in fact, when I got in this car, I, I, I bellowed. Because of how much pain I'm in. Um, look, I signed up for a gym membership. If the wrestling doesn't work out, it's opened up a healthy lifestyle. Healthier, rather. Healthier lifestyle. In regards to me finally getting the balls to get a membership, me finally putting in effort to get my cardio better than whatever the fuck I was even... I'm glad, honestly, I did the, the um, school because I needed a wake-up call with how I really need to get my ass in gear when it comes to cardio. And I think this gym membership is definitely going to uh, do that. So... I got the, it's only $22 a month, $22 something a month, and uh, that gets you access to like the fucking tanning bed, the fucking massagers. I get, I can understand, you know, the muscles, of course, it's good too, because like strength, you need strength, obviously, to be able to pick guys up and shit. It's... It's the tan that's like, ooh, but at the same time, it's not about looks at the moment. It's about basics. It's about knowing what you're doing in there, you know. Not fucking looking like a superstar just yet. Once, once I get a better idea. I'm overthinking it, of course. I got a million thoughts in my head, and none of them make sense. I know the fans are a little loud. Apologize. Um, I'm glad I'm documenting everything. Because whether it works out or not, I'm glad I can look back on these. And, uh... See what I used to be in a way. What the future me will see what I used to be because we're all constantly grow. Not to get philosophical, but we're all constantly growing. We're all constantly changing. So to see old me with aspirations is probably going to do me good. A lot better than uh, what writing can because. Um, while I do enjoy reading, sometimes writing can be a little imaginative, I guess. Um, I don't even know what the hell that means. Weird out of left field comment coming, but... I watched the episode of The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air with uh, Will's dad. Now, I don't have... I'm thankful to not have that unfortunate experience where uh, my dad or any parent, any parent, either parent really, walking out on me. 
I guess the closest thing would be when my dad was an alcoholic and uh, threw me out of the house. Uh, and it wasn't the first time. It was the second time and I... I don't want to say I became a man. I was still 16, 17. I was still dumb as fuck. I still am dumb as fuck, but like I was really dumb as fuck at 16, 17, but I did a lot growing up. A lot growing up. Of course, as you can see, I eventually forgave my dad and we, uh, we kissed and made up and he's sober. Really the only thing he ever drinks is is um, a margarita with his girlfriend, and he doesn't get stupid, so whatever. And even if he does get stupid, he just goes straight to his room. So, I do feel bad though, because of course I'm a drinker, and I am nine times out of ten always around dad. So, I feel bad about that. Because I feel like I'm rubbing it in his face. Like, ha ha, I can drink, he can't, that sort of deal. Which is not true, he can if he wants to, but... He just needs to learn self-control, which I think he is. I think he's really learned. Because he'll have, like, a glass of margarita and that's it. Maybe two. Other than that... I'm proud of my dad. I really am.